this week has been a world away from the past two weeks. So I said in the last diaries that I was gonna knuckle down, stop skiing so much and really properly start training and sharpening towards the beginning of the trail running season. And I feel like that's exactly what I did. Uh, I actually only skied once this week and the conditions are a bit crap. So I even cut that one a bit short and went for a run afterwards. So had a little bit of jump of, of a jump in running mileage. I think I was up on 105 kilometers this week and only around 80 last week, but that's still not a massive increase and lots of good quality running workouts. So uh, I took Monday completely off because I was actually pretty wiped. I think the past two weeks of excessive load uh, took its toll and then Tuesday got right into the quality. I did the power session um, with some trail running before and after and then the leg conditioning for both uphill and downhill it was really. So some fast feet and bounding uphill and then also some good downhill running as well to try and condition the legs to the downhill. Um, and yeah, the steady session, that was where I did a ski uh, steady effort and then a run immediately afterwards, a little bit of a brick session, session with the steady. And then a uh, hard workout, it was sort of like more tempo to hard, doing some intervals with Killian, which is always really good because it means that I can push uh, and see someone in front of me and just try and keep up with them. So that's really, really good for me because his uphill is incredible. And then on Friday, I felt like I had good energy. So I actually added in a few extra sessions. I added in a tempo flat workout there, which was a longer road run. And then a steady session in the evening where I actually used the lift to come back down. So that was only uphill hiking with poles, super steep. So it was really kind on the legs, but still let me get a little bit of um, steady effort done. On Saturday, I took a little bit more of a rest day, so just a recovery um, bike ride and used the strategy session to research, research the Garm a little bit so I could plan the most important workout of the week and possibly this training block leading into Zagama, which was this race specific session, which was the race simulation. So before Zagama, I really wanted to be able to do two race simulations. This was the first. So that means it was gonna be uh, progression one, which is a half distance simulation. And then the next one will be two thirds. And I actually really try and filmed a little bit around doing that uh, to show you what it was like. I didn't actually film anything during because at the time I was concentrating on trying to run as if it was a race, but I filmed a little bit of preparation, a little bit how it went afterwards, uh, which you can see. So today is race simulation day. So this is one of the biggest workouts I'll be doing uh, in preparation for the start of the season. And it's one that's really hard to do well. So I've already not really done it that well because uh, I would have liked to have had yesterday, the day before the, the race, as close to a race as possible. So the same stresses, the same, almost the same carb loading, etc. But now I'm at home, I haven't had a press conference. Uh, it's pre been pretty much a normal day yesterday, slightly less training at least to be a little bit fresher today, this morning as well. I mean, I've woken up, I'm at home, I'm way more relaxed, there's a lot less pre-race nerves. Uh, I've had like uh, more of a normal breakfast to one that I would do before a race, but still I think the important thing is to get the actual workout done as well as I can. So that's gonna be sort of the main goal from now. So what I can do is I can stop this and restart filming. So this is what I've laid out uh, ready to go. I've looked at the um, mandatory gear list and for Zagama it's a wind jacket and a cup. So I haven't got a cup here, but a cup is very small. Is it gonna make a big difference? So I'm gonna use a race belt. I'm not, I haven't made my nutrition plan for Zagama yet. So I'm not really sure what gels I'll use, but I found I had a bunch of these mountain fuel ones left over. So I'm just gonna use those. I've got six there, so if this does take up to six hours, that's enough. I'm gonna put those in the Flexi bottle. Uh, that's a total of 30 grams each, so 90 grams an hour if I do go up to uh, the two hours. I've got a um, race kit from North Face for this year, so that's actually new. I've got to take the tags off, um, but a race vest, shorts. I've got watch and I've planned the route and put it on the watch as well, because. I've tried to make this as similar to the Zagama profile as possible. Lube, sunglasses, and some possible shoes and socks. Uh, that's the North Face Summit Sky. So kit wise, this is pretty much sort of like very similar to what I'll be using 
on the day and I can test and also taking so much gel, that's gonna be good gut training for me as well. So as for the route, um, it's, that's, that's been a struggle. So I really wanted to try and replicate Zagama as much as possible for this run, which means sort of the, the trails, so the terrain, uh, the profile, and the distance, but this is my first race simulation, so it's only gonna be half distance at 20K. Uh, but with still the amount of snow, that's been difficult, so I've made a very convoluted loop uh, in some local trails with some uphills and downhills and some flats. So the trails are gonna be pretty much not that similar to Zagama, but I mean, it's the best I could do uh, whilst being at home. So I plan that route, I put it on the watch, I use a navigation function to make sure I stick on it, but I do know the trails pretty well so that shouldn't be the biggest of issues and as for climate which is something else you're also trying to replicate it's going to be sunny today and cool which i think is going to be nothing like zagama zagama is either going to be really rainy wet and cold or sunny and hot so not sunny and cool like i'm going to have today but still such is life um just going to go out and see if i can push race pace for the 42k race but only do it for 20k so uh, it is really hard to replicate like it's uh, you can never replicate the race nerves and the intensity of running alongside really good people and being able to push yourself that hard but i'm just going to go out uh, give it my all and just enjoy good long hard effort because um, a lot of training is based around intervals and then you get to a race and obviously you can't just take a rest after so many minutes you need to just be able to push the entire time so this is going to be a good opportunity to test that and uh yeah i'm excited hopefully it will go well but then again if it doesn't go well that's the fitness i have and that's what i can do at the moment so as long as i get it done that's the important thing and uh that's all i can do uh but ultimately uh i was really happy um my shape is what it is obviously you can only try as hard as you can and I felt like it went relatively well. So with the shape that I had during the simulation, like it's not absolutely amazing, but it's not terrible either. So I've got like good hope that I can improve a little bit in the next few weeks, but not completely um, disgrace myself come race day. Uh, this was the actual uh, activity. I planned a route um, on these trails because these ones have been melted out. This was uh, an uphill loop um, and then a flatter loop with a little bit of road, a little bit of flatter trail and then up and down trail, which is really quite technical actually, a lot of routes and stuff. So I kind of like made a convoluted route out of these two loops, which you can see here, which I ended up climbing uh, just under 20K with 1,000, nearly 300 meters of uh, climb. So that's sort of like pretty spot on for half Zagama. Uh, and looking at the pace analysis, we can actually look at the gap because that makes a lot more sense. And the average gap was 336. And yeah, there were some road sections which make it easier to hit a faster gap, but there was also some relatively technical and steep downhills with a lot of routes too. So I think 336 is, uh, is pretty good. Like, um, yeah, I'm, I'm relatively happy. Like it could have been, it could have been way worse. And the idea of continuing to do this whole thing one more time was a little bit daunting, but I really do feel like I did have a bit more in the tank and the gels I've been taking went in pretty well as well. So I could have continued with that same uh, fielding strategy for another um, go round, especially with a bit of crowds and people to run against would make it a little bit easier. So. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that's race simulation number one done. I do know what I have to work on now, but I think I kind of had a good idea anyway. And yeah, just do another couple of weeks like I've just done, I think, some good quality, uh, some good running, and um, still cheap, keep remaining fit and healthy because I do feel like healthy at the moment and that's really important that I uh, don't pick up any niggles, injuries or sickness or just feel a bit low. So make sure I rest up a little bit. And I think I will probably do a bit of extra skiing next week because this week was such a good quality uh, running week. Uh, so I can keep the, the load up a little bit and um, have a little bit of fun on the skis considering we still have some snow, but it is melting 
really quite fast now. So making it easier and easier to run on the trails, which is going to be really important uh, moving into the trail season.